Happy midday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. Okay, cultists, you didn't want any part of these hearings broadcast in prime time because you were afraid somebody might actually see them. Okay, how did it taste for brunch today? I'm guessing you've got some gastric distress because any remaining doubt, not that there ever was any, has now been removed. This isn't just a split decision. This is a one punch clean knockout. He lied. It was all BS. He cared about nothing but himself. He was perfectly willing to put this country our country, presumably his country, through this hell that to some degree is still burning as a raging inferno. This lie has been the engine that has driven essentially all of our problems since November 3rd in 2020. Did you hear it? Did you see it? Because if you didn't, either because it was inconvenient for you, and I understand that, it's a work day, or especially because if you lack the courage to see it, then kindly do everybody a favor and don't comment. Because in that scenario, you don't know what you're talking about. The evidence is overwhelming, it is incontrovertible, and understand this. All of the testimony that was offered by election officials, that came from Republicans. That came from partisan Republicans who nevertheless had enough integrity to tell the truth, and that is to say there was not a shred, not a single shred of evidence of any kind of voter fraud that would have in any way influenced the outcome. And it's unanimous. This went to court 63 times, and Trump lost in court 63 times, and still, he perpetuated the lies, and even worse, because liars gonna lie, what was wrong with you? What compelled you to believe this other than you wanted to? We have a word for people who are willing to believe anything they just simply want to believe. We call them children. And the really depressing thing here is that yeah, there were people, his advisors, there were some people in his cabinet for sure who were willing to tell him the truth and in many cases paid a price for it. But in terms of Republicans in Congress, in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, total cowards who did a 180 and now are on the ledger of history for all time to show their hypocrisy. We'll call it the Kevin McCarthy Museum. This isn't close. We have to have people who are willing to talk to power, or in this case, talk to pure insanity. And as Bill Barr said, he was detached from reality, as are any or all of you who continue to believe the big lie. We are radically rational.